buyers versus sellers who should you spend your time with watch this video and it shows you exactly who you should be spending your time with i got into real estate for two reasons let me know if you got in for the same reason one is make a lot more money i want more money in my life two is i wanted a better lifestyle one more freedom in my life and here's what i found out in almost 20 years of working in the real estate world buyers although i can make money with them i cannot have freedom with them have you ever noticed with a buyer i gotta be working nights and weekends and gotta send some text messages and as soon as they want to go see a home i gotta jump and then it's like how high mo fault because they want me to go get the best deal at the best price and they don't want to pay full price and so here's what i found out is if my goal in business was to work way to pass and to earn way more i could create even better leverage in my life and my business if i own the listings especially in today's market in the market of the last three years with a shrinking inventory i would pretend this if you could carry 20 listings at a time would you rather do that or would you rather work with 20 buyers at a time because let's look at the pros and cons if you have to work with a buyer you got to drive them around. You got to put gas in your car. You got to go be at the house. You got to write the offer. That takes like 30 minutes. Then you got to do all the counter back and forth. Then you got to do the inspection. Then oh, when the deal falls apart, you got to go show them more homes. And then because there's limited inventory, you're only seeing one or two homes at a time. Like you get why it takes a lot of work to work with a buyer. Now I'm not saying don't work with buyers because I've worked in a lot of my life and the name of the game in real estate is closed deals. However, what I'm suggesting, if you have that seller, let's look at this. You can get the contract signed and then you can move it into a fulfillment process that you are not even doing. Sign a key box, great, someone else can do it. You wanna put it on the internet, great, someone else does it. Multiple listing service, great pictures, photography, great. You can hire that out. When the home needs to go get showed to buyers, this way, you don't need to do that. The buyer's agent's gonna do that. Oh, guess what? The buyer wants to go see on a Saturday or Sunday. Oh, no worries. They can use the scheduling system and the other agent can do it while you're with your family coaching your kid's soccer game. You can start to see the process here. Not only that, is you can work with 20 to 30 sellers way easier than you can with maybe five to 10 buyers. Meaning you're gonna compound interest and close more deals quicker with a seller's. So if I were you, this is what I've focused on. This is what I did my entire career. Every day I was looking for that next listing appointment. I'd go in, give a presentation, get a contract signed, put it on the marketplace, price to right, have professional photography, and then I'd let the other agents come in and sell that house. And then when I brought the offer, guess what? My job was to jack that offer up so high, I then go to the seller, they make a decision to either sell the house or keep the house. The name of the game is closings, but if I can own listings and close more deals, that's what I want to look for in my life and in my business. I'm gonna recommend focus on listings because you get way more done and way less time and love yourself way freaking more. Go ahead and smash that like button, comment and share. We'll see you here soon.